Do you ever wonder how Warzone streamers play in bot lobbies, whereas yours looks a little bit like this? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain exactly just how these Warzone streamers are playing in bot lobbies while you're playing in sweat lobbies. First things first, though, in order for this video to make sense, I need to explain what SPMM is. SPMM, aka skill-based matchmaking, is a type of matchmaking that Activision use to essentially match good players with good players and bad players with bad players. Controversially speaking, this is in every single game mode in Call of Duty. It's in ranked of course but it's also in the casual game modes. Your everyday pubs lobbies still have skill-based matchmaking, which in my opinion, I disagree with just like many other people. But unfortunately, this is the way that it is. Activision have confirmed that this exists in the recent statement and they've explained a bunch of different ways that people matchmake. They go on to say that if lower skilled players are constantly on the losing end, then they're much more likely to quit matches in progress or just stop playing altogether. This in turn tends to have an effect on the player pool and a smaller player pool means that there's gonna be longer wait times for matches. But where the frustration lies is that if you are a half decent player in Warzone or you know anything above average I do believe the average player has around a 0.9 KD so if you have anything above a 0.9 you're technically above average if you are one of these players you probably find that your lobbies are very very sweaty and sometimes you just don't want to sweat that hard but with all that being said you're probably thinking to yourself how on earth do all of these streamers seem to play in bot lobbies you know these streamers are pro players they're some of the best in the game yet they don't seem like they're playing against the best players in the game. Recently, Nixta just dropped an 81 kill game in Vondel. Many other streamers are dropping 40s, 50s, even 60, 70 kill games on the regular, and it's very clear that the lobbies they're playing in are not their skill level. I'm here to tell you that yes, more streamers do indeed use a VPN, and myself included. I have no shame in admitting that, and I've admitted it plenty times on stream before. But what actually is a VPN? What does it do? How does it bypass SBMM? and how can I get one? The VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Essentially, it is a network that you will connect to that will in turn hide your IP address. When you open up Call of Duty, as you can see here, if you go to your network info, it'll give you your IP address and where this IP address is based. So as we know from the matchmaking process, they try to match people to the best they can with people from this location. So when I open up a VPN and I go to network info, it'll tell me that I'm playing from a different location. But there's a special kind of VPN that people use in Warzone, and I want to take this time to introduce the sponsor of this video, which is Lobby God VPN. The way VPNs like this work is it'll trick the game into thinking you're in a different location, but when I go into a game, I'm still gonna be on normal ping. The beauty behind this is what it does is it confuses the matchmaking process while you queue. You'll still get lobbies that are based on your original location, you just won't get the skill-based matchmaking. And that is how everyone is getting bot lobbies. It's gonna make your lobbies easier, it's gonna help you get more kills, more wins, and overall just have a bit more enjoyment. The best part though about Lobby God VPN is why I recommend it so much is that it even works on console. This is very rare for VPNs and I know a lot of people do play on console and they could be sometimes be frustrated when they see PC players having such an advantage. Well with Lobby God that is no more because even you players on console can get this VPN service. It's super simple to set up. All you need to do is just go to the link in the description. You can sign up for a three day free trial with no credit card required at all and you can test it out for yourself. But firstly once you sign up it's going to give you some DNS settings. You need to just type these DNS settings into either your PC or or console and don't worry they've got guides on how to do this it's super simple it only takes a couple clicks and there's nothing to worry about about doing it once you've got it typed in you just need to go to the site select which server you want and when you load up you'll see that your location has changed in game from here you're going to queue into a match and SBMM is going to be dodged there is just a couple points i want to mention about this though and how to get bot lobbies more consistently the first location you choose may not necessarily give you a bot lobby i definitely recommend just picking a random one and going with it but you kind of want to try to prioritize those servers where it's like either really late at night or really early in the morning where there's not that many people playing from that region if it doesn't work just change server restart the game and keep going until it works i promise you this vpn does work i promise you these servers do work and it might take a couple of tries but once you get it it will work. Now you might be wondering, can this get you banned? And the answer is no. VPNs are not against Activision's terms of service. You cannot get banned for using one and there is no risk at all. I've been using VPNs in Warzone for years, just like many other people have, on and off, sometimes using one, sometimes not. 
changing servers regular and the answer is it does not get you banned these are completely allowed by activision it's not against the tos and if they were i would never advertise it because i don't believe in that but yeah if you are worried about getting banned don't be if you're hearing stories about someone who says oh my friend got banned after using this vpn it's it's just a lie the shadow ban system is a mess people get shadow banned for literally nothing if you just spam report someone they're going to get shadow banned eventually so it isn't because of a vpn trust me you cannot get banned for a vpn there is a couple more things i want to mention on the topic of vpns because i have a friend called carlos who has tested out vpns to prove that they actually work he's done a test himself and proved that vpns do actually work by getting the average lobby kd of each player with and without a vpn and proving that they do make a difference now i definitely recommend checking out that video if you want to see the proof but long story short there's an application going out there which may or may not be allowed i'm not fully sure on that so i don't want to advertise it but essentially it allows you to see the average kd of a lobby that you load into it'll get all the players what the kd is and work out an average for that lobby he queued into three games of vondel with a vpn turned on and with a vpn turned off and the difference was definitely noticeable the lobbies were considerably easier with the vpn on but the last thing that i want to mention is that a vpn is not going to just make you a better player now i can't believe i need to say this but some people just really don't understand if you aren't a good player for example, if you are a player who has a KD of less than one, you are not going to notice any difference between being in a bot lobby and being in a good lobby. If you aren't good enough to penalize bad players for being bad players, for example, you just can't shoot straight, it doesn't matter what level of lobby you're going to play, you're going to struggle anyways. You know, you can still die to bad players, even though they're bad players. This is Call of Duty. You can still die to someone who you are better than. It's really not that simple. If you're a decent player who's above average, I think you're going to notice a big difference versus playing in a bot lobby versus not, which is why you see streamers like this playing in lobbies where it just looks like nobody's shooting back don't get me wrong if you're not an amazing player sometimes you will find that one bot on the map that literally does not even shoot his gun you know you see them videos of someone who's walking around and like they're playing with like the flute or like a guitar hero controller you will see the occasional person like that you know if you're someone who has tried every single one of these lobby god servers and you still don't think that your lobbies are any easier i hate to say it guys but it might just be a skill issue i don't think that would be the case for many people but i do just need to mention that at the end just in case but yeah that is how streamers are getting bot lobbies that is how i'm getting bot lobbies and that is how you can get bot lobbies too it's going to make the game a lot more fun but yeah once again don't forget to check out lobby god vpn the link is in the description and i'll catch you in the next one